These beautiful fawns, one male and one female, were brought to Wild at Heart in June 2017 after they were suspected to be orphaned. When these two were admitted, they only weighed a few pounds each. They were fed a species-specific formula a few times a day and stimulated to aid with their digestion. They were offered solids like browse and fruits and vegetables. Once they grew a bit stronger and got used to their new environment, they were led outside for the day to the field beside their cage. Deer are prey animals in the wild, so raising them, even for a short period, can be stressful and difficult for the fawns. Hannah Tennant, one of our senior interns helping raise the fawns this summer, explains why it's best to keep fawns in the wild with their moms, instead of prematurely bringing them to a wildlife center. I'm Hannah Tennant, I'm from England. I'm 27 years old. I've been taking care of wildlife for three years in Canada and in the United States. I'm looking after the fawns at Wild at Heart. And these guys are very superly imprinted animals. The fawn I've got right here, he was seized by the m &R and as you can see he's very imprinted towards people. Most time the fawns that you come across in the wild don't need to be brought to us. They are fine to be left out. Mum is around, she's just usually trying to find food for her and her baby. So please don't bring them to us, but leave them be. Animals are best off in the wild with their mums and dads. It was not possible to reunite these fawns with their moms, so a few select interns were trained on ungulate care. Once they adapted to their new temporary home at our center and were gaining weight, the interns were more hands-off with their involvement to help keep the fawns afraid of people. This is key to successful release back into the wild, which is the goal of all animals admitted to wild at heart. We were fortunate to partner with the Fielding family again this year to release the fawns to their property on Manitoulin Island. The female went off right away exploring her new home. The male slowly walked around, nibbling on different food sources. It was an amazing feeling to see these two thrive throughout the summer and return back to the wild where they belonged. 